The basic crux of the right to be forgotten is that any citizen can exercise the right to remove the private information about that person from internet searches and digital directories. The importance of this right is underappreciated, especially in the current digital age, as many people would want to exercise this important right. Currently, there is no provision in the Pakistan legal framework which provides this right. However, an unfettered provision of the right to be forgotten to citizens can become quite complicated as this right can overlap and contradict with many other fundamental rights in Pakistan constitution. It is stated that the core of the right to be forgotten lies in the right to privacy, which includes the right to control any information arising from that person. Recent understanding of the right to privacy often elevates it to the status of fundamental right, and the legal jurisprudence has confirmed that the right to be privacy is an inalienable right with tentacles rooted in the right to life. The right to be forgotten and right to life are related, and it is through right to life and right to privacy, right to be forgotten is flowing. The best example of this interconnection was observed in the murder of Kandil Baloch, where the information on internet resulted in her murder. This reflects that the human might consent to publicize information in one stage of life and not in the next stage of life. However, global audience of internet and permanent memory of internet can cause considerable problems for the right to life of a person. Major conflict also arises in relation to right to be forgotten with other fundamental rights in the Pakistani constitution, such as the right to freedom of expression, right to information of Pakistani citizens, and freedom of press. For instance, any law which forces Google to delist any content altogether or remove it from the public domain could be challenged by Google that it infringes freedom of expression, while citizens could argue that such a right infringes their right to freely access information of public importance. This is especially important when the information can be simultaneously classified as public and private. If the information is published in a digital newspaper, then that newspaper could also argue that right to be forgotten also infringes freedom of press. In light of these provisions, as a balancing exercise, we recommend that the right to privacy should be given precedence over right to information, right to freedom of expression, and freedom of press in certain situations where there is a private person involved and the information about that person can have a potentially harmful impact on that person. Moreover, to protect right to life in urgent cases where details of the victims of sexual violence and pandemic are released, there should be a provision of immediate action in the Pakistani laws without any legal formula. For cases where an absolute right to be forgotten is not required or desirable, delisting from digital platforms, removing the name of the person, and limiting the accessibility of the information about that person to certain audience are some of the pathways which can preserve the rights of that person in question, as well as the intellectual entrusts and right to information of the larger public. In cases where right to be forgotten is exercised by a criminal, a legal test can be devised which weigh different factors such as severity of crime, public interest, and past conduct of criminal. Lastly, the procedure to exercise right to be forgotten must be devised in such a way that it is extremely easy to request all data controllers in a simultaneous fashion to exercise right to be forgotten.